us with the Almighty Creator of Omega. Hi, my name is Daisy and uh, I'd like to share what Coming Out Ministries uh, has done for me. Uh, last year I was part of a youth camp and uh, there was a friend there that I, I needed to talk to. See, I had same-sex attraction and I had a tremendous amount of guilt that weighed on me because I know what the church thought about it. Um, so I never told anyone until I told this friend of mine. She, we talked a little bit, I opened up, opened up a bit, and uh, she mentioned, why don't you visit Coming Out Ministry website? And I'm like, what is Coming Out Ministries? What is that about? <laughs> she, she explained it to me, and she said, well, they face situations of same-sex attractions, and they address issues like that in the church. And I was like, wow, there's actually someone that does that? <laughs> People do that? I mean, that's like a taboo thing. People don't talk about this in church. And uh, so I said, okay, all right, I, I will check it out. So I got home. I didn't immediately check it out because I was kind of scared in a way. But at the beginning of this year, I said, okay, well, let me just, let me just check it out, see what they're about. So I went to the website and I started to listen to these testimonies. And I thought, I'm not the only one. <laughs> There's a lot of people that struggle with this. So I just kept on listening and listening and still it didn't sink in for me. Like I still couldn't believe it. And then I thought, you know what, let me try and make contact with them. And uh, so I found their Facebook page and uh, I sent a message. But I wasn't direct because at that time I had to make an advert for coming out ministries to come to South Africa and I needed information. So I sent a message asking, you know, can you give me your logo, your information? What are you guys doing so that I can make a poster? And, and then I kind of laid it down like saying, you know, I also struggle with this, but um, also you don't tell anyone about me, you know, <laughs> but you yeah, I wanted to tell them, like, I was hopeful of the fact there's somebody that understood because I, I couldn't speak to anyone that understands. And um, so I started to share a little bit that what I was struggling with. So they gave me the information and um, I actually spoke to Michael Carducci. He was the one that was interacting with me and he asked, can I pray for you? And I was like, yeah, please, <laughs> you, by all means, <laughs> pray for me. And uh, so we, we stopped talking there. The next time we spoke, we spoke a little bit more. And he suggested that I would speak to someone that he would recommend. And um, so I thought, okay, <laughs> all right, okay, let me, let me try this. So we spoke. I, try, I made contact, but we couldn't speak immediately. Um, so after three weeks, uh, she came back to me and we started to connect and we started to speak. And for the first time, I was like, someone understands me. <laughs> someone understands. And I was just, I was so grateful because I didn't think I would find anyone that would understand. I just want to talk about it. And, and she has been such a good blessing to me. I have learned so much from Coming Out Ministries. And it was amazing how things just lined up because shortly after that, Coming Out Ministries came to South Africa. And I attended the camp meetings. In fact, I was part of the crew that recorded the sermons. So <laughs> I thought, you know, I got to get in contact with this guy, <laughs> Michael Carducci. I was scared. But I saw him walking out of the blue and I was like, Michael Carducci, <laughs> we spoke on Facebook. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you Daisy. He's like, wow, you even remember my name. But anyway, so we started speaking and um, it was so amazing to, to hear him speak about his story and everything he went through. And I was like, this guy gets me. 
I want to talk to him, but I was so scared. You know, so many people talk to him, but I was like, Ugh. anyway, so we spoke one night and uh, we also prayed together. And that prayer meant the world to me. I felt so, so relieved, so accepted. I didn't feel judged. Um, it gave me new energy, if I can put it like that. So after, after the camp meeting, um, me and this girl that we met, we started to share, well, we started to do some studies as well. And she told me about this program. It's called the Associates Program for Coming Out Ministries. And I'm like, hey, wait, I can be a part of this ministry. <laughs> I want to do this. <laughs> I saw what a testimony like that did to other people. I want to do the same thing. You know, I want to tell people my story to show them there is hope. It's not over. It's not over. And I want to give them, be a part in playing the role of giving them hope like Coming Out Ministries has given me. So I applied to the program and I'm busy um, doing all the requirements and uh, hopefully I would, well, eventually I will come to the point of sharing my story to those that are looking for hope. And um, yeah, that's all I want to say. <laughs>